Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. How are you guys today? Sorry, the lighting is not cooperating with me. Um, so I'm doing a crochet tutorial today, showing you how I do crochet braids. Um, this is very easy style. Um, I use the Bahama um, curls. Um, and I use like five packs. I bought eight, but I used five packs. But let's go into the video so I can show you guys how to do this. And let's keep it nice and quick. And you'll be walking the streets with your hair looking cute, whatever, in like two seconds. So yeah, it only took me like, let's see, 35 minutes to do it. So yeah, no, an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, actually a lot. So yeah, I had washed and I had conditioned my hair, so I'm gonna dry for like 45 minutes with condition. So, sorry for my shirt, you know, I don't wear the best clothes, no wash, like so. And I use a shirt to dry my hair because it does less damage. So, we're gonna detangle. I'm going to detangle with this. I just bought this. Um, it's called Not um, Not on My Watch, it's an instant detangle therapy. Um, I used it before. <sighs> Did it help a little? Maybe, maybe not so. Um, I'm not sure if I have how I feel about it yet. I'm still trying to find like good detanglers. Like if you know any good detanglers with detangling hair, like this for y'all see this? It's very soft though. Ooh, yeah. But I'm using this as my moisturizer. I just bought this too this week and I love this and it smells so good. It's from the main choice. It's called Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Sealing Cream and it smells great. It's like, mm, it smells good. And for my oil, I'm going to use this. So what we're going to do with this crochet style, we're going to split in the middle. We want to part it like in the middle, okay? And we're going to do like the tree method of how the braiding style. Um, so if you know how to cornrow, I am not the best at cornrowing in certain directions. Like I can cornrow to the side, but you know, just split down the air in the middle like that. And we are going to cornrow. And a tree method so I might do six or eight at the top or and four and three in the bottom like you know how you connect them um, if you've seen them I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of crochet methods already but you always wait a minute did I just lose that I just lost my part no okay, no no but I always like lose that part for some reason so I'm gonna moisturize the back and comb it out first and then comb this out and put that in bun and comb this out and then start braiding so yeah I moisturized the bottom part now I'm about to moisturize and seal the top half I'm gonna put this in the ponytail and wait for this for later and do the top part so I did one I'm about to do the other one so I take that part split it and start corn rolling backwards I really don't know how to corn roll backwards I usually corn roll to the side I never corn roll backwards so this is gonna be a sloppy, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. As long as it's, you know, braids, you know, you know. So, I mean, I'm not, I didn't just comb this, man. But um, I'm never good at corn rolling to the side. Sides, like, I can't corn roll to the, on the side of my head for some reason. I feel like I can't grip it right. Um, See, that's where it ends up to that part. And then you're just gonna braid down like that. Um, a lot of y'all say I'm good at corn, and like this is not corn roll, like this is not good at all to me. But like, like when y'all saw my tribal braids, um, that's on my other channel. That I did the hairstyles before um, I started actually this channel. So check my other channel for other hairstyles like faux locks and um, other natural hairstyles on there. I'll tag it here. But I like how I corn roll. I'm like I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> but um. Yeah, but these, it doesn't matter because these are going to connect to the cornrows that you're going to do in the back. So, we're just doing a tree method. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to continue to do them. Okay, yeah, so six braids are done. Now you're going to do three braids in the back. And so, you're going to connect each two braids. So, you're going to cornrow two braids into that one braid. So, it should be three in the back, six up top. And that's how you do like tree connection, whatever, family tree. And then they call it, I don't know what they call it, the braiding style for this, but... Yeah, so, I mean, I tried cornrow back. I, I really tried. <laughs> I mean, I think I did a, a decent job. So, anyways, let's go do those three braids in the back. So, I'm going to part, continue this part. At this point, I don't feel like you're using a right tail comb. That's how lazy I am. It's really ridiculous. Okay, so that's why I'm not going to show you how to back. So, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. <laughs> and, I'm going 
but the other one's sexy. So you're gonna continue the parts of the second row, so I'll part right there and then like that, you know? For the three braids. Put that into a little space bun. Follow me on Instagram, Taylor Ranky Life. Please guys, follow me. I need more followers and I want to communicate with you guys. Um, so yeah. Alright, so now you take these two braids right here. You're going to connect it with one of the three. So you're just going to start braiding. Honestly, make a third one, but take that and start braiding it and pull and roll backwards. If you're good at it. Me, I'm not too great at this, at this at all. Um, but yeah. It's going to be a big braid. There's that corn run, and it's going to go like that. Kind of like if you get in here, you know. Put a weave in or anything like that. Okay. Oh, I did the three braids. So then, like I said, I'm not going to let you see them because, you know, because they're little. Take the three braids and you're going to braid it to a braid. Okay. So, we're going to put this braid, take needle and thread, and start sewing it. So, I want to be extra careful with this. I don't know if I'm going to continue. Okay, so this is the hair that I'm using. It's called X Precision. I'm using it in two colors. This one was the F1B30, and this one is this 1B, and it's called Bahama Curl, 14 inches. And each loop has four strands. And that's what we're gonna use today. So this is what the hair looks like. Um, I'm so rough. So it comes on, ooh, it comes on like a little thing. It has a net in it. This crochet needle. And you wanna hook it to the loops. And it's pretty. It's kinda like what I had before. If you follow me on Instagram, it's um so you're gonna take it through the loop, latch. So what you're gonna do is I forgot, you're gonna take the loop like that. And then you put the hair on, okay? That's Okay, and then you release from the hatch. Then, you're gonna open it up a little bit, and then you're gonna put the hair through like this, and you got a knot. And just knot it on, and boom. Just separate it like that. I do have seven or eight packs. Um, hopefully, let's see how all those go. Take the loop. Put it through the hoop. We'll take the loop, put it through the hoop. Ha. Bring it on through. Um, put the hair through the loop. Tie it up. Like that. And you have some hair going on. So let me go finish doing this. And okay, guys. So this is the results of the style. Um, um, I really love it. Like, it's so cute. Like, look at me. <laughs> but, um, it's very easy. Um, the hair is not gonna come out because how they made the um, hair, they have like a rubber band, so you tighten it and then you pull it and then you tighten it and it's like sticks because it has like this rubber band thing to it. I don't know. Um, this is the best X control. I like my other videos if you've seen the other one. The other one was good too, the brown one. Though, I don't know, it starts with a K, Corinne or something. I don't know how it goes. But this one is called Eben New York. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Um, when you do, it's really easy. Um, it lasts, it was, like I said, I only use five packs. And um, always fill in the gaps if you feel like you need to fill in the gaps. I use a lot of hair because I like a lot of volume. That's just me, you know? I just like a lot of hair. Anyways, um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Go follow me on my social media. I will be posting more pictures and updates. Um, leave questions, talk to me, follow me, and all that other fun stuff. And, you know, stay connected and everything. But, like, comment, subscribe, comment any other video ideas that you would like to see about natural hair. Follow my other channel called Tailoring Through Life. Um, and if you're from that other channel, hi. <laughs> 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys.